hey guys what's up it's your girl vibe so i work full time from january to november and when i'm not working i have a holiday i know crazy so this month december i'm pretty free so what have i been doing well let me sell you i guess you can tell by the title what my part-time job is and um i guess a lot of people if you have a car and sitting at home and you gotta pay it off every month with your car loan wanna make some money out of it right so the next part is just me trying to explain what is grab's algorithm on how they figure out how much they are going to take a certain percent of commission from a student ride and it will all make sense towards the end when i explain to you how much money i make so pay attention so for example you're taking a ride from Sento to kl central so for example you pay something like 30 ringgit because your area is very very quiet and there's not a lot of grab car drivers and what does this money actually do for the grab driver right because let's say if you pay in cash you think this money goes 100 percent to the driver the answer is no so the grab driver at most will have to give 25 percent of this money to grab company i'm gonna write grab co and the balance which is 75 percent it goes to the driver so if you math after that i literally whipped up my calculator app and just started calculating because i can't do math for the life of me tea is spilled which means after doing the math grab company gets seven ringgit and fifty cent of your fare as commission that they keep and your driver gets 23 ringgit and fifty cents as their earnings so basically just remember each ride you take grab takes at most 25 percent so as a part-time grab driver how much money can you make well the good thing about working on your own is that you get to set your own hours so i will drive around like four to five hours and I may take a pee break in between, but if I don't take a pee break, then it's gonna be like five hours max, and I can earn around 100 to 150 ringgit. I've hit 150 at most, 100 is like the base. After minusing my petrol and stuff, I can take home around 80 to 90 ringgit for a day's work, which is not bad. If I stay at my house, I get zero. If I go out, I get 80 or 90 ringgit. Not bad. For my work, I always carry a bag. And in it, I put some nuts, like almonds, cashews, always two water bottles, power bank, which has tons of cords. I also have to bring my spare change kit wallet thing because sometimes people pay in cash. All my cash. And of course, this phone that I'm holding. I changed my outfit into this um, t-shirt that you've seen in my how to go from bum to baddie video because I just don't want to attract unnecessary attention being a female grab driver. I don't want people to be staring at my boobies while I'm trying to make some money. So, I know. Struggles. My commute to work is basically walking to my car. Not that hard. So I got my car keys, which has a really cute little thing that I got from work. So my students gave it to me. It is a little koala, and it is made in the Philippines. I know, so cute. So as a grab driver, oh my god, I'm a grab driver. I put my phone here, and it will face me. So this is the view of what passengers will see. They will see like me here at the front and they're at the back and they're like you know bopping out to, to music if they really vibe or some of them will sit like right next to me over here rare but it happens and i'll be like driving 
but then out to music that I like, you know, like, ooh, I feel you, Ari, I feel you. Sometimes I'll have a good conversation, but most of the time it's pretty chill and I like it that way as long as you give me the five stars, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so I'm gonna go to work now. Bye. This is part of my job that I don't like, whereby sometimes I'm sitting in a car, I arrive at a location, and the passenger's not there. So I just sit, waste my money, waste my petrol, waste my air conditioning, waiting for a passenger that never shows up. Why? 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 Hello, so it's editing vile coming back in. So I actually couldn't really show you my passengers due to privacy reasons and I'm sure no one would like to get into their grab car and their driver pointing a camera, like a phone, at their face, you know what I mean? So I was basically just driving and I didn't film that and after I was driving I film the next part that you're about to see. So right now I am heading back to my house after driving for what seems like five hours or more honestly. I am tired. I haven't had lunch. I checked my driving logs and I started driving around 11 and I finished at 6 all while having like no pre-bake, no toilet break, no lunch and I came back straight for dinner. It's insane. But I just checked my earnings and oh my goodness, girl earned a lot of money today. At the top is how much I earned. Bam. So because I have a special thing set up um, in my phone where Grab takes only 20% instead of 25%, I think my take home today was... Remember earlier on I used a calculator to figure out the math I was pretty much in need of a calculator at this point in the video because I was like I earned 202 and grab takes 20% away and I keep 80% so how much would that be dun, 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 dun. and then I gave up I did use a calculator on Siri and I figured it out how much I actually earned today I know thank God for technology technology and the next part you're gonna see is basically my review at the end of the day what I think about my job so the thing about this job it's fine you gotta set your own hours you are your own boss and you meet lots of interesting people but the downside is it drains the hell out of your battery and my phone right now is connected to a power bank and if you look at the power bank it really there's only one bar left it was fully charged before I left now there's only one so yeah as you can tell this is not a job for people with no power banks basically <laughs> today for my grab situation I literally met a a PA to a celebrity that also majored in fashion design in university for three years works in a fashion house full-time and dances like wow this person's hustle is so unreal i even told him like yo i really admire your hustle and we bonded over his hustle if that makes sense and from this person i also found out that there was a tsunami in indonesia so i i really like this job surprisingly even though it doesn't have any medical benefits it doesn't have the joys of an office but i really like this job i do mm. Grab. Thanks for giving this girl some extra pocket money. I love you. Bye.